I had a different video planned for today guys, but uh, we just got some major news. And greetings YouTube gamers, welcome to another episode of Retro Raider. My name is Johnny Retro and welcome to the channel. If you are new on the channel guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss a thing. So here's the thing, apparently there's going to be a Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2. Now for you guys that never heard about Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, this was a PC game back in 2004. And of course it was a vampire themed game. This game was based on the tabletop RPG under the same name, and it is considered a cult classic, and um, I would call this game a hidden gem on the PC. And here's the thing, you guys know I've always been a console gamer, but uh, I did play a couple of PC games back in the day, and uh, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines is by far one of my favorite PC games of all time. And what can I tell you about the game? Well, imagine a GTA game, but on a vampire setting, with a very cool gothic ambience. That is pretty much Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Like I said, Bloodlines is based on the tabletop RPG Vampire the Masquerade, and uh, it's pretty much like Dungeons and Dragons, but with a vampire theme, but uh, at the same time it is different than Dungeons and Dragons. I'm a huge tabletop RPG fan, I love D&D, but uh, I never played the tabletop game of Vampire the Masquerade. But Bloodlines, believe me guys, is amazing. Now the problem with Bloodlines at the time was that, you know, the game didn't sell that much. I think that the game sold around 100,000 copies in the first year, I mean, that that's nothing. And then the truth is that it was kind of forgotten in time. Then a couple of years ago, a MMO was announced on the World of Darkness universe. Now, World of Darkness is the universe of Empire the Masquerade. And I'm not an expert here because, you know, there's different timelines within the setting, there's, you know, the new World of Darkness, stuff like that. And this MMO promised a lot of great things and uh, it was supposed to be you know, one of the MMOs at the year at the time, but uh, it flopped before its release. And that was pretty much it for Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines or Vampire the Masquerade video games um, until today. Because apparently there's going to be a sequel to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. And uh, what I'm going to do today, guys, is to make a reaction video of the trailer. This is going to be 100% honest reaction, guys. I still haven't watched the trailer yet. So, uh, yeah. Let's do this. And it has been years since the last time that I was excited about an upcoming PC game, but uh, I'm very excited about this one. So, uh, you know, fingers crossed. Here we go. I'm curious about the soundtrack because the soundtrack was killer in the original Bloodlines game. Not actual gameplay. Well, that sucks. This city will bleed you dry. You're young. You'll fight over scraps. Okay, so this is a first person game. I think that we had the option for first person in the original Bloodlines game. Not sure. I can't remember if we had the option for first person. But it, it was a third person game. Make one mistake. And it's over. Oh, the graphics are good. Here, no one's hands stay clean. A little bit of the shining here. You will come to despise it as much as I do. I think that was one of the districts of the original game. To see it again. Okay. Any release date? Oh, next year. Oh, Xbox, PC and PS4. So good news, it is not going to be a PC exclusive. Okay, let me think about that for a second. Now, first things first, after watching the trailer, am I still excited about the game? I am, I honestly am. But this trailer, well, unfortunately, it was not actual gameplay. It looked like a teaser trailer for me. And there was really nothing wrong with the trailer. I mean, the graphics were amazing. The ambience was cool. It looks like it's going to be a first-person perspective game. Uh, I'm okay with that. But the thing is that I didn't caught the Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines vibe in this trailer. So it's going to be a little bit pseudo here, but I mean, it is just not you know, gothic enough. Vampire the Bloodlines Masquerade video game needs to be, you know, this 
industrial goth game because that's really what Bloodlines was all about. One positive thing is going to be available on the Xbox One and PS4 and uh, of course PC but definitely a wise choice in bringing this title to the console market. And uh, there's nothing much more that I can say guys, uh, I still have my hopes on but the problem was that you know I thought that you know, Bloodlines was a forgotten game, you know, a game from the past. I thought that we were never going to hear about this game again. And of course that fans were very disappointed with the MMO game. But um, I think there's some ground for this title right here. Uh, there's definitely an audience for it. I honestly think that the release of this game is going to be a cult classic thing. I don't think it's going to be a game for the masses, because let's face it, not a lot of people remember this game and uh, there's not a lot of people that play, you know, the tabletop game. I know a lot of people that play D&D, I know a lot of people that play, you know, the Warhammer uh, RPG tabletop game, and I know that Portugal is a small crowd, but uh, we do have a couple of stores here, uh, you know, gaming stores, and uh, I never saw anything related to the World of Darkness game or Vampire the Masquerade. So yeah, it is kind of a niche thing, but uh, there's definitely a place for this, there's definitely a market for this game, and uh, you know, Fingers crossed. And let me know about you guys, let me know on the comment section below. Are you excited with the announcement of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2? Did you play the first game back in 2004? Are you a fan of the World of Darkness universe? Let me know on the comment section below. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to put a like on this video. Please subscribe to the channel and take care of yourselves, take care of the gaming community and game a lot. <laughs>